Hello everyone, and today I'll be reading A Scaramouche Listener by me. So let's get into it. Scaramouche is acting weird lately. You had no idea why. The two of you started dating, but that didn't mean you actually did anything. Things were going slow, after all. He was not someone who was used to affection or had any idea of dating, and you didn't want to just shock him too much. You thought that was good, right? You just wanted to slowly introduce the concept Sam. Kisses, cuddles, all of it. You would go at a slow pace, so he wouldn't be overwhelmed. And to be honest, it sounded like a good choice. A sound one. In your own head. But you had no idea how it sounded for Skirmish. And from the beginning... You had automatically assumed that this is exactly what he wanted, when, truthfully speaking, that was not the case. Not at all. He might have wanted something, but it wasn't this. It wasn't the hugs that you were giving him. It was something more, and you had no way to tell, because Scaramouche is quite horrible at voicing his own thoughts and his own needs. No one could know what he wants, unless he says it. And it's not like he's used to wanting this. He doesn't know if it's right of him. Or if he's being selfish. So that's why he stays quiet. And bottles it all up. Over and over and over. And days pass. Weeks. And he doesn't know what to do with himself. But it makes his attitude change. To a more snappy one. Grumpy. And it makes him pouty too. I want to go over to him that one evening. Wrapping your arms around him. He breaks out of your hold. Getting up and leaving. Telling you that he wants to go sleep. Of course, you would get it any other day. But he just stood up so abruptly. And he wasn't actually nice when he said it. And also, he did not sleep that early. So that was definitely not the case. Something was off, and you had to investigate what exactly was making him act this way. Or otherwise, this issue would be making the two of you have some difficult times and days to deal with. So that's why you sought to find out what was bothering him. But you could tell nothing, and know nothing. So that's why... The next day, you went over to him, determined to ask him and get an answer, because you were not going to keep running in circles anymore. You were sick of that. There was no reason you would have to keep trying to figure it out on your own, right? Scaramouche, we need to talk, he said. And he looked up, crossing his arms, his mouth just jutting out into a small pout. It would be adorable any other day. But you knew that something was upsetting him, so you just couldn't pay attention to that. What is it? What do you want? I don't want anything. I just... I wish you could understand what's going on through your head. And nothing can make me, except if you tell me. So, Skirmish, could you please just be more honest? It'll be better for both of us. I promise you, whatever it is... Even if I can fix it. I'll try my best to make you feel better. In any way I can. You say. And he sighs softly. Looking away to hide the pout on his face. And the blush on his cheeks. It's not that simple, Oyan. He truly thought. That he just wanted to kiss you. And. He felt like that was too invasive. And he was also too shy to ask. Or do it. He had no emotional intelligence whatsoever, so you're going to have to be patient with him. And eventually, after a lot of coddling from you, and a short cuddle session, he told you that he just wanted a kiss, and he was kind of too embarrassed to ask. You didn't want to laugh as much as you did. You tried your best to hide it, because if you laughed... Then he was going to pout and be even more grumpy 
and you weren't sure if you were prepared to deal with that. That seemed like a very difficult task in and on its own. So, probably, you just tried to keep a peaceful smile on your face, so you wouldn't be upset at all, and process with that information in mind, and go on. Look, how about this? How about I give you the kiss you wanted? What? He looks up. Pout gone, completely, as he looks shocked at you, blushing, and you just can't help but chuckle, wrapping your arms around him. Yeah, really, just a kiss, or maybe more if you want. He nodded quickly, and you've got the face in your hands, kissing him. I love you, Skirmish. There is no reason why I wouldn't want to kiss you. I love you. You're my boyfriend. There is no reason why I wouldn't. So, it's just your imagination. You say, your gaze flawed, even as you try them gently. He blushes, wearing a suit into her neck. You promise? I promise. Now, do you want another kiss? He nods again, a little less shy. And you kiss him. Over and over. But one time, he stops you, wanting to be the one to kiss you himself. Which was honestly adorable, and it was so sweet. The kisses might have been short, and maybe he lacked experience, but it was everything he wanted and more. Skirmish. I just want you to know, I didn't kiss you because I was worried you wouldn't like it, but I wanted to for a long time. He blushes at that. How you need to You mean it, Wayan? Of course I mean it. I would never lie to you, I swear. You are my most favorite person, and my most precious one on this earth. So trust me when I say that I really like kissing you, and you can come to me for kisses anytime. There's no need to be so grumpy about it. I was just... I was worried you wouldn't like it, or it would be too much to ask for. It's not. Trust me, it's not too much. And you know what? We should make it a routine. Every day, before we sleep, and when you wake up, I will give you a kiss. He smiled softly, nodding. He honestly wanted that, and it sounded like the best deal in the world.